Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another uh, video game. And today is going to be Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball Super Fusion World. I don't know. Apparently it goes by both. <laughs> I don't know which is which. It's the new Dragon Ball card game that just came out. Um, that's very hard to find cards for. I tried so hard. So unbelievably hard. So I'm going to play a little bit, because I've been playing this game a whole bunch, and I really like it. Uh, so before we go in, I want to just show off what I'm currently working with. This is my deck, mm, a Monkey, which is a Frieza deck. It is basically just the Frieza starter. Uh, due to a lot of dumb things built around this app, uh, I, it, I was in a weird scenario <laughs> where I accidentally had my brother's account, and then it was a whole scenario that was really bad. I'll explain it later, maybe during a downtime when my opponent is playing Broly and is ready to kill me or something. But either way, I have what to work with me is the Frieza, the Frieza starter deck, and then the 10 packs that I was able to get from, um, just playing, um... Yeah, I was able to, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I had enough gems to buy 10 packs, and then I went for the 10 packs. So this is the deck. Um, it, the, my main goal here is to try and win before Broly kills me. Um, the best way to do that is to try and draw as many cards as you can with Ginyu. Uh, kind of rush them early with Zarbon and Dodoria, and then you also have Frieza there for the locking. Uh, Sorbet here for drawing cards. Lemo here to be a one-cost drop that is mainly used for energy. This Freeze is here because I think he's cool, and occasionally I'll be able to play him and then Dodoria on turn two. Uh, Goldo, I wish I had more Goldos because this Goldo is very good. It lets you basically rest down your opponent to make it control. He never gets used at all during the Broly matchup, but he is what he is. This Frieza, also really good to be able to take the life early on and try and awaken my Frieza as quickly as possible. And he's good up until Broly can activate. Um, I got Cooler in here because he looks cool. Chilled here is for the mirror match uh, against Frieza because it makes all my dudes 5,000 stronger. But in general, he can be pretty good in just about any matchup. Uh, Koi's here... Freeze is here for the same reason, because he's 2,500. Uh, Shishami is really just here to be energy fodder, and that's basically it. And then I have three Golden Freezes to try and win the game, and three King Colds for supports. I removed from the deck, um, which maybe I should debate putting away, putting away one Shishami for one of these. I don't really want to ever use this card. Uh, it's completely useless if you fight Gohan or Broly, but it's actually very useful if you are fighting against any other deck. So maybe I'll put in a one of just in case, and if I ever fight against Broly or something else, I'll put it back in or something. I don't know. Uh, Shasami can also be pretty good for getting the 1,000, though. I don't know. So yeah, that's the deck, and that's what I got running for me. If you're ever wondering, like, hey, how come there are certain cards that are not in it? I just don't have those cards. <laughs> this is what I'm rocking with as far as cards go. Not a lot. I wish I had more. I wish I was able to get cooler, but I didn't. So let's go in. So basically the game plan here is to control the game. Um, if I'm going against someone who is not Broly. And if I go against Broly, the answer is to kill them before they have a chance to get to eight, um, to get to eight energy. And then they would just win the game from that point on. It's no way for me to beat them. Um, and if they're playing Gohan, I just lose. So let's see. What we're going against Cooler. I've never fought Cooler before. This will be interesting. I think Cooler probably has advantage over me on this fight for sure. But let's see. I think I'll probably keep this. Uh, I'll keep it. I, I think it's a decent enough hand. Can't remember if I'm going first or second. <laughs> I'm going second. Okay. Let's see what you got, Cooler. Oh god, I forgot. This guy's critical. It's gonna be very annoying. Oh god, I feel like I'm already losing. And nothing's happening. Yeah, it's, this, I just realized this is gonna be a bit of a... pain in the ass to deal with. Okay, put in Lemo. Now I'll play my guy here. I should really attack with Frieza first, but I literally had nothing else to do on turn one. I have still no clear idea about the best way to kind of handle fighting Cooler. So uh, the reason is, is that Cooler has critical. So that means that I'm going to be in a constant struggle for hand draw. Because I'm not going to get the four card draws from my life. 
which kind of sucks. It's, like, it's a little bit of a shitty situation, so my idea is, is that I'm just going to try and, oh god, he's going to tear down my sorbet before I even get a chance to do anything with him. Oh, this is fine, though, because I get to draw from this. Yeah, I'll go, yeah, of course, dude. It sucks when uh, Cooler has to do it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because he has critical. He's gonna feed him? Sure. What's the worst? As long as it's not... Uh, I've never seen this before. Cool, giant giant ball. Please don't be a good card. Be a bad card. Be a bad card. No! Oh! That would be n that would have been great in this matchup if I could have actually gotten it. That's annoying as hell. Um, okay, so I can actually use this. So that's cool. Let me see here. Who do I want to put in there? I think for this matchup, I'll put them in there. Okay, so I'll start by attacking you. Cool. That's very cool. Alright, he's at five. Then I'll use this. Just get rid of that old Frieza you got right there. He's gone now. And do I want to try and go for the Zarbon into Dodoria play? Is it a little too late for that? I feel like I'm already like losing in terms of ramping. I'm going to play another just so I can draw a card. Okay. Double Golden Freezes. Not sure if I need two of them, but alright. Uh, the good thing is that I can stop the bleeding next turn from the critical stuff, so that'll be nice. I just realized I have all three of my golden freezes. I do not need this many golden freezes in my hand. I can get rid of one of them. Yeah, I read this golden freeze is great for ending the game, but I also kind of only ever want to get one or two. <laughs> oh, okay. This guy. Sure. This is another guy I wish I had, but unfortunately I don't have. This guy actually has the legit deck. Here's my question, though. Are you actually going to transform? There's really no reason to. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Alright, let's see. You'll be at 2,500. Okay. I'll use this. Because this also is going to stop his blocker. Nice. Nice! Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Yeah, I need to get rid of some of these golden freezes from my hand. Um, which is a shame, because I really wouldn't have wanted to do that, but it is what it is. Oh, I can actually do the play, which is cool. So he can transform whenever he wants. Keep that in mind. So, I think I can go three drop. Hmm, should I go for that? Go for a five, maybe? Hmm. I'll go here. Use this skill. Get out, Zarbon. Zarbon will search me a Frieza. Now find me a Frieza. I feel like I probably want this Frieza more, but... To actually do attacky damage, I'll get this one instead. And then I'll play everyone's favorite, Dodoria, who currently has 2,000. And I'll take a swing for old Cooler here. I want him to stop having critical. There we go. That's all I care about. Now, he's going to be able to attack me a whole bunch, which kind of sucks. Not going to lie. <laughs> but it's okay. I still have six life. Sure. Next, go here. And uh, here we go. It's not bad. So if he wants to keep this guy around, he is going to have to. All right. That's cool. The good thing is, is that he gets to waste cards here. And then next turn doesn't even matter because I have double Frieza. So that's cool. I'll end my turn here.
That's fine. I still have plenty of life. He doesn't have critical anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I do have to worry about gigantic bombs coming my way because he has four. So kind of keep that in mind. I also would like to draw more cards. Would you want to attack this Frieza? Sure, go ahead. I don't care. You act like I can't just get more Frieza's. <laughs> I can actually do a funny play and actually get, um, wow, really, you want, you, it, 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 it matters that much to you. Sure. Dodoria's gone. Goodbye. Rip. Rip to a legend. He's gone now. He can't hurt you anymore. Would you like to attack Frieza so I can have another life? Oh, let's go. Hell yeah, buddy. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. You'd love to see it. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to keep the Ginyu Frog. Because Ginyu Frog lets me draw. So I'm going to get rid of that Frieza. And I'm going to play Frieza. And Frieza... Let's go and attack here. You go and take a life. Thank you. Nice. Very nice. It's probably between Zarbon and... We'll see. I'll flip. Oh, okay, that's not bad. So... No, I'll do I'll do this trade. I'm fine with it. I'm happy with it. I could have probably only done one now that I think about it. Damn it. It's fine. Frog draw. Sorbet draw. End turn. These two come back and are safe. And next turn, I should be able to start Golda Freezing. Assuming I don't die this turn. Because now he can also Golden Freeze at me. Sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, th one, two 3, 4, 5, 6. Later, Sorbet. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. As long as I'm not below two life, I think I'm fine. Ooh, that's bad. That's a big Frieza. Uh, that's fine. Now he's going to be able to use this effect right here. That will let him um, discard a card from hand. But that's fine, because if he starts doing that, it's going to be bad for him. Let's see, I think I have to start getting rid of some cards in hand to fight back against it. Hmm, he did it, okay. Kind of smart, I guess. I mean, not I guess, that is a very smart move. Put him in there. Skill. All right, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, I have five. He only has four. Mm. Mm. Let's see, what can I do? He has four cards in hand. I feel like I have to start attacking some of his creature dudes to make it easier for me. So I think what I'm gonna do here is If he wants to trade, that's fine with me. No? Okay. Doesn't want to go down. Um, do I want him to draw a card is the question. Do I want him to have six cards in hand or just want to keep them like this? You know what? I'm going to have to do it because it trades one for one, I guess. More cards in my hand is perfectly fine. 
I get to draw one, he loses one. Mm. Mm, I guess the question then becomes, does he care about falling down to... Mm. Does he care about falling down to two the same as me? You know what? I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Biscuit. No, I'm good. Remember, he can just as easily just kill me if he wants. But I have a feeling he doesn't want that to happen, so. He also probably has a very good card to play. Uh, do not add. He has no choice in that one. Okay. And my turn. Put that back into active. Put the frog back into active. Mm, let me see. If he golden freezes me, do I care that I can't attack with? You know what? I'll give him the ability to lock down the frog or kill the frog if he wants. I will tempt him with frog offers. But down to two life is good for me. It means I think I win next turn. Yep, there's the golden Frieza. Okay. Do I block with this one? Yeah, this could potentially be bad, so I'm just going to block. Hope that's cool with you. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Next turn. I remember, I have to survive through so many attacks this turn. Oh, for one life? Oh, and he paid for it, too. That's crazy. He's really going for it. Um... Yeah, I don't see a reason to, to block this. Unless I'm stupid. Let's find out, huh? Um, not the greatest. Actually, it is good on my turn, but for right now, not, not so good. Currently at 5,000. Okay, currently at a lot. 7,000. Six thousand. Okay. Give that. Okay, so he's currently at four thousand. Four thousand. So I need to beat seven thousand. Mm, I'm keeping that because this will instantly beam. Okay, so let me see. Get rid of that. Three thousand, five thousand. Six thousand. Need more. Five thousand, seven thousand. I need more. That yep, and that's it. Victory, game one. Cause the I would have been able to win back with the golden freeze on my turn. Whew, close though. <laughs> Terrifying. It's still not the greatest when it comes to fighting critical stuff. And that guy was in silver too, so I feel pretty good about my victory here. Level up, baby. Alright, did I get any missions? I sure as hell did it! <laughs> so that was the good, the part about the game that I like. Let me show you about the car, part of the game I don't like. This. This is very bad. This is very, very bad is the best way of putting it. This makes Master Duel look generous by comparison. Um, the gems a day are not the greatest. This resets at least in two hours so I can get more. Um, the weekly is really stupid because it's also based off of 
get winning with a red leader, a blue leader, or a green leader. And at the beginning of the game, you only really have one option to buy a leader. So the best thing to do is actually probably not to buy packs at the beginning like I did, even though it did make my deck better. And it makes it so if I fight against other people with a starter deck, I have a slightly better chance. Um, but the thing you're actually supposed to do is make sure to get these decks as quickly as possible. Which is funny because um, if they were available in stores, you'd be able to have an IRL version of the deck and a code for this one. But of course, it's impossible to try and find them. I went all looking for them for Target with my sister and we checked multiple different Targets. I even went to a Barnes & Noble and the Barnes & Noble was my best chance of probably finding some packs there, but unfortunately the people there uh, had no idea what Dragon Ball was or what it would have looked like. So I feel like it was a little bit of a lost cause on that one. Unfortunately it wasn't out front, but they had everything else there, so it makes me think that it's probably there if I checked good enough there. Uh, so yeah, you should probably make sure to get these first, which is probably what I'm going to start doing next, is that I should get Goku next. And then eventually uh, Broly. Broly's definitely next. It should be Broly next, but I like Goku more. And I'm pissed off of fighting Broly's nonstop, as you could tell from the beginning of this video. And Vegeta is the weakest, just because Blue is in a very um, weird place at the moment. Uh, and I would I would also gladly get another Frieza deck, just so I can have double of the Zarbon and double of the a full trifecta of the other ones. Like full King Cold's. Because I only have three because of the the way you buy them. I would probably get another Golden Frieza in there. Uh, another Zar two more Zarbons and two more of this Frieza right here who is really good. And yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to get material for anything. There's no way easy way to get packs even. It's uh, very bare bones. There's no season pass of any kind. Which is weird to be asking for one, but a lot of card games have one. Hell, even Marvel Snap has a shitty season pass, and that's still better than not having one. Uh, Marvel Snap has maybe one of the worst that I've ever seen, because it's only paid to get the good ones. But yeah, as you can see here, going for your tiers, it's, it's not a lot. Like, I've been trying to go through these, but it's really tough, because it seems like the rank system is terrible. Because I'm in bronze, and occasionally I'll fight a deck in gold, and one time in platinum, and it's just like, these guys are, the people who are up here have bought cards <laughs> have you ever bought cards or they bought gems and their decks are insane and there's no way for me to counter it only in my best days would have i had had a chance um and then another negative is something i hope that they eventually kind of fix is the wild card system which uh is really bad look it's based off of getting dupes but i don't think that's going to be possible for any conceivable time because like i said i pay i pay uh, i got the 10 packs did not get a dupe of anything. He did though. I got four. No, this was from the starter deck, so I don't know. I don't know. It's very weird. I hope that they improve it because I do like playing the game. I think the game's really fun. I also am very curious. How does that work with Metal Cooler? Because this card says like, hey, you can have as many copies of you want in the deck as you like. So how does that work with the wild card system? Does that mean just like any Metal Cooler pull just means I never have a chance of getting more common wild cards? <laughs> kind of sucks. Um, but you know, these are all things I hope that they improve. Maybe it's just a thing of that's why they started on the PC client, because they're going to hopefully build up and do better over time, which I hope they do, because it is really fun. I also hope they eventually put this on Steam and put it on an actual client, um, because their PC client sucks. Um, what I did with my brother, it was a very stupid situation, but the fact that the installer is tied to a Bandai Namco account and um is dumb i've never seen it done anything like that <laughs> never in my life have i ever seen anything like that um so you know can be improved but anyway that's the end of the video i just wanted to record a video making this i think i'll probably make more videos as i start getting more cards i do plan to probably go a little bit more into it um as time goes on i wish that the the irl cards were more available so I could have actual cards and this card's right here, but, uh, you know, it is what it is at some point. Maybe they'll fix their supply stuff, just like they did for One Piece, right? Totally isn't impossible to find the most current two sets of One Piece because scalpers haven't gone fucking crazy with them or anything. 
Anyway, I've complained enough. I think this game is really fun. You can try it out. You can go to their site. Make sure that the, the website is in full screen and not do the mistake I did. If you have it at a half screen, it will assume that you're on mobile, even though you're on a PC. Very stupid. Don't know why it's like that, other than, hey, this was a badly designed system. Um, make sure not to install it from someone else. And that's it. Yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back for more Fusion World later on because it's a game that I enjoyed. It feels nice to kind of be enjoying a Dragon Ball game again. It's been many a long year for me. And hopefully this one lasts. If Breakers can last as long as it has, it gives me hope that this card game can last at least a, a decent bit here with some support. <laughs> Let's hope. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out.